Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So we finally have another celebration on Global. I mean, to be honest, it's more of a mini filler celebration, but new content nonetheless, which is pretty freaking exciting, especially after that massive dry spell we just had on Global. Now, real quick before we get into it, I wanna give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Ultra Dokkan Discount. If you guys are interested in picking up an account for yourself with up to 6,000 stones for very, very low prices, then make sure to check them out in my description. And you can also use my code TIGER for 15% off your entire purchase. They're really great friends of the channel, so definitely Go check them out if you guys are into that stuff. And without further ado, let's pop into the news and see what's going on. So as suspected, it is a Dragon Ball Heroes themed celebration, very similar to the one that JP got. Uh, I think it was like only three months ago or something like that. And it says SDBH World Mission, which is Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Crossover special campaign is on. Free update number five of Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Okay, so this is a little promo for stuff that happened in the actual World Mission game, so it's not really relevant to us on the Dokkan side. To celebrate the release of the version update, a crossover special campaign featuring Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission is now available. In Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, a new special event will be available in this campaign. In addition, don't miss out on the crossover login bonus and crossover missions. Okay, so first things first, we have a login bonus, pretty standard stuff. Number two is some special missions. We'll get into the specifics in just a second. We do have some Dragonstone sales, but not too many. A 32 stone pack, one time only, and then 91 stone packs, three times. So a pretty mediocre sale, but like I said, it's a very much filler celebration. So. I didn't really expect too much from the sales. We also have, of course, the crossover summon, which is coming out tonight at reset, which uh, is gonna be a different time depending on what your time zone is. For me, it's gonna be tomorrow morning at 1.30 a.m. And as far as whether or not I wanna summon, I'm gonna say I'll do like three or four multis maybe for the average player. I think the most you should do is probably like two to three multis because honestly, these characters are good but they're not amazing. I mean, actually the Dokkan Awakenings for the Super Saiyan 3s are really, really good, but for the most part, like you don't need these characters. But the good thing about this banner is that uh, it is a guaranteed featured unit for each multi. So your chances of getting some of these new units uh, is pretty high, right? So um, I guess it's really up to you. I would say don't go too crazy. Definitely continue saving your stones for units like the SDR Transforming Cooler, but if you really want Golden Cooler or Cumber or Fu or another chance to pull the Super Saiyan 3s or um, Supreme Kai of Time, then I mean, a couple of multis couldn't hurt, but just don't wail out on this banner. It's really not worth that many stones. That's just my opinion. Okay, moving on, we have a new special event, the Prison Planet Saga event with a new free-to-play uh, farmable Cumber who's actually pretty solid. And also a... Uh, oh, this is not new. I believe this is the old uh, World Mission Dragon Ball Heroes story event that we got for the last celebration. So that's the return of that event. Also a new Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash or Battlefield, which is also dropping uh, at reset tonight. So new Battlefield immediately. And we're also getting the Waifu, I mean, I guess it's not really Waifu, but the Rising Dragon Carnival banner with the new Oceanus Shenron, as well as the new um, launch. Yo, I forgot her name for a second. I just like totally blanked, but Launch and Oceanus Shenron are the two new characters. They are not LRs, they're just regular, um, you know, SSRs. And I believe neither of them have a Dokkan Awakening right now, but it is a double rates banner, which means that as far as chasing LRs go, it is one of those banners that, you know, you could potentially pull a lot of LRs from, but at the same time, I wouldn't recommend you guys to go too crazy either, uh, just like with legendary summon banners i feel like they're traps for the most part for your average player and um you know even though it's double rates your chances of pulling nothing and just being completely disappointed is way too high so uh once again if you are into chasing lrs maybe do a couple multis but conserve your stones guys all right i know it's tempting double rates is always exciting but it's just not worth it it's just not worth it okay 
So uh, aside from that, we have the return of a few other story events, the Magical Girl Fighters, um, the Unknown Battle of Gods and Majin, and also the Saiyan Warrior Race events coming back. And last but not least, we have the return of the Dragon Ball Fighters story event 2. And that pretty much does it for the new events. Nothing too exciting in my opinion. As I said, it is a filler celebration, so I wasn't expecting too much. And uh, as far as the special missions go, we can get up to 12 Dragon Stones. <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> nothing to write home about, honestly. Uh, 12 Dragon Stones for completing all the limited missions. And then for the login bonus, we get one stone per day, uh, which is, again, to be expected for the remainder of February. And then after that, we should be getting another real celebration, I'm hoping. It's going to be transforming cooler, but it could also be uh, more likely actually to be the future Gohan uh, celebration instead. So we'll have to see. But uh, for now, this is what we got. I'm I'm not overly hyped about any of this stuff. I do you know want to pick up some of these heroes units, but I don't need them honestly. So um, expect a summoning video. Expect maybe a stream or two for the Rising Carnival Dragon banner as well. But uh, that about does it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys plan to summon for these heroes units. Um, and otherwise, I'm out of here. I'm going to go play some Kekorot. It just literally dropped on stream, on stream, on Steam like an hour ago. But I wanted to wait for this stuff to come out first and make a video about it. So now I'm going to edit this video, put it out there, and then start streaming uh Kakarot on steam all right so make sure you guys go check out that stream i'll see you guys there thank you so much for watching today's video as always if you like the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.